I am so sorry. I, I promise you that things are over between me and Gal. I she she meant absolutely nothing to me. It was a one time thing. So knowing that today is our wedding anniversary, I, I bought you a few presents. Is there any way you can forgive me? How long have we been married again? What, six to nine. How about a drink from the <laughs> coldest water bottle? This is the only water bottle out there that stays cold for two to three days. If you want to win one of these, check out the link in the description. There's also a link if you just want to buy one where you can get a discount using the word extreme. But I love this water bottle more than my wife. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Welcome to the Extreme channel, everybody. Today that we're filming is a very special day. It actually is our wedding anniversary, right? Correct. And the reason that I know that, two of my friends actually have the same wedding anniversary. In fact, one of them was the best man in my wedding. I was the best man in his wedding five years later on the same day. So we always remind each other a few weeks ahead of time. Anyway, Mrs. X has been getting gifts from everybody for our anniversary. Correct. So first, number one, he gave you, what did number one give you today? Ooh, a, a Swarovski heart with the heart inside. Swarovski. Sh Swarovski. So a crystalline uh, heart with a heart inside. Uh, number two, what did she give you? Uh, Legos, the friend's apartment. Yeah. yeah. My kids have a huge bankroll. I don't know where they get it from. Number three, what did he give you? Uh, he also gave me a Swarovski. It's a rose. So like a, chris a, a, a crystal skin, rose? Yeah. All right. It's very and, cool. And uh, your husband, uh, mm -hmm. what did he give you? He gave me um, like a plaque and it showed where we had our first date in the year. Okay. Yeah, and very cool. the date and the year. Yeah. Are you surprised that he actually remembered that? Very surprised. And then uh, you also got a gift last night, if I'm not mistaken. Of course I did. That's right. She's turning red. But today, Mr. X has a gift for her. So we have yet another statue in the J. Scott Campbell line. She already knows what this one is. I don't know how she found out, but I've been drinking a lot lately, especially last night. Especially last night. I'm in some rough shape right now, I'll tell you that. That's why she took advantage of me when we got home. So today, she is going to unbox and review the J. Scott Cinderella statue. Very excited about this one. In my opinion, I think this is the best of the line. If you want to see some of the other ones she's done in the past, make sure to go check those out. Here's one of them right here, but they're available on the channel. If you want to see some future content, both with and without Mrs. X, because I do have another Wonder Woman bus coming in in the next six months, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button on this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit the bell notification. Now, before we open this one up, where are you going to put it? That's what I said. See? <laughs> So, uh, where, where are you going to display this at? By the other ones. Okay. So, if you want to see what that looks like, make sure to check out the Extreme Channel Instagram, Facebook page, and TikTok. Because currently, you're, you're also painting my Wolverine, right? I am. My Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Yeah. So, we're going to post some exclusive content on the Facebook page for sure. Probably Instagram and maybe TikTok. Have you ever watched TikTok? No. It's highly addictive. Really? Yeah. Watching fat people sing songs oh. to... Whatever. Oh, the kids like it. Yeah. Or one likes it, I should say. All right, take it away. Show is yours. Now, as she opens that up, I do want to give a big shout out to Comic Concepts. That is actually where I purchase this from. I very rarely order things from Sideshow Collectibles nowadays. Almost all of my Prime One Studios and Sideshow pieces I order from Comic Concepts. So I'm putting a non-affiliate link below because usually you can get them a little bit cheaper from Comic Concepts. And especially because of where I live, shipping is a lot more affordable. Yep. You want to really talk about the art box? Okay. So, as Mr. X said, Cinderella. I like it when you call me Mr. X. Yeah, do you? Yeah. And we have a nice art box. It does have a picture of Cinderella on here. And kind of the traditional look of all the other boxes. Yeah, cardboard. This is why I get in trouble so much. This is 
it okay if I unwrap it for yes, you? Yes, please, help. Wow. Look at that handsome devil. Ooh, they can see the behind the camera. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the lights. Italian. Fragile. Fragile. Must be Italian. If you don't know what that's from, you are missing out. There's probably like four movies I could watch over and over and over and never get bored, and that's one of them. Agreed. Show the bottom. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Kind, kind of hard to see. It is kind of hard to see. So with statues, typically, if you're new to the statue game, that's where they stick the certificate of authenticity to prove that it's real. And ta-da, there you go. All right, so let's talk about a little bit of background. As I said, this is made by Sideshow Collectibles. It's from the mind of J. Scott Campbell. And, and this is the fourth piece in the line. And in my opinion, it's it's pretty impressive, which Very we'll talk impressive. about. But Cinderella, now, which, which one was she? I, I don't remember. Was she, she wasn't the one that, like, um, fell asleep, right? No, that's Sleeping Beauty. Oh, hence hence the name. Sleeping Beauty, So wh what's, wh what the hell did she do? Oh, was she the slipper? Slipper. See, I recognize that because there's pumpkins on the side. Yep. All right, so she had the fairy godmother. Yep. Which I don't like that tale because it just tells, you know, girls that are in trouble, like growing up, that maybe some magical thing will happen to you and you'll become a princess. That's not how it works. It's not. Usually that storyline in real life ends up turning that person into a prostitute. Mm -hmm. True. I guess. So this is Cinderella. Uh, does she have any magical powers like Marvel characters or anything? I don't think so. How is she making her dress do that? The wind. Oh. It's, yeah. There's no wind in here. Well, not here. I mean. Okay. So, uh, do you remember the first category when we re review a statue, what we talk about? She doesn't watch any of my videos. <laughs> so, we, we do concept and we concept. go from bottom to top. Okay. So, go ahead and talk about that. Okay. So, we just talk about, like, the base? The base would be on the bottom, yes. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, it's... I said, I'm such a dick. That's what I said. You are, sometimes. You got excited when you heard that word, didn't you? <laughs> so, yeah, she's standing on this mirrored base that has um, some uh, pumpkins and decorative... Uh, design. Design around it. There's a few uh, roses also. The design also carries up onto the mirrored area. Very nice. And then we have her skirt, which... Maybe it's supposed to kind of look like a pumpkin, maybe? It, it does. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, And then I don't know what like the holes are for, but maybe... So you know. we so we can see her butt. Maybe. These, I, these as we talked about before, I think yes. these statues are over-sexualized, in my opinion. Yep. She does have some high heels on. Um, it looks like she's maybe in a dancer's pose. Her legs are very, very long. Goes up to um, her waist, where her dress is flowing from. Her hands look like they're kind of giving a... Don't touch me. You look at me kind of pose. I think it's don't touch me. I'm not a prostitute. <laughs> oh, maybe, I guess. And she has some gloves on. I would say this one's a little less on the uh, what number three would call the front crack. It's more realistic, I would say, maybe. It's still a it's good, still, decent front crack. It is, but I'm just saying a couple of those were... Um... Fair enough. So for her face, she's looking off to the side like... Like I said, look at me, look at my pretty dress. I don't know if she is. It looks like her eyes are closed. Yeah, but she's just like, take that. You know, and one thing with this, I kind of think like there's something blowing up that's that's making her dress go everywhere. And that's also why she's got that pleasurable look with her eyes closed. Ooh, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Do it again. So, <laughs> so uh, concept, what would you rank it one through five? I like it. I would give it a five. 
Five out of five on the concept. I actually agree on this piece. I really like what they did with the base. The fact that it's a mirror so you can, she can look down and see her ass is incredibly creative. Yeah, right? So with design, there's not a lot to it as you saw with the unboxing and assembly, which we usually do now, but you've already seen that. So realistically, I think uh, we talk about where it keys in down here, there's a little bit of a gap. Tiny bit of a gap, but nothing to, to get upset over. Um, the dress here is made out of very lightweight material, so you don't have to worry about any lean problems. Otherwise, I think they did a good job covering up the gaps uh, where her head went in. There's actually, I, what is that? I know it's not a necklace. It's like a... A choker? Choker. Yeah, no, it is called a necklace. Okay, but it, yeah. it's called a choker. See, there are so many S&M sexual elements to this. A choker and yeah. things of that nature. One thing we didn't really talk about here, on her dress, I think you kind of missed this on the concept. The crown. Oh, that's a crown? I don't know. kind of looks like one. Oh, I thought it's like some kind of magical element. You know, like when oh. Di Disney people spin, oh, they have those, those little dots that come out oh, of them. Yeah. I, guess I don't know be. what those are. Of course, if this was the sexual route, that could be semen all over her as well. Maybe, I guess. Lots of guys. That's that's probably why she's like gross. Get in there. Maybe her, she is. Maybe her eyes are closed because she's not happy with what's going on. Maybe. You know, I think we could do like a series on these statues alone on the hidden innuendos that, that are Possibly. going in there. Just like all the hidden innuendos Disney had in their old movies. Mm-hmm. Art of design. Why don't you measure it for everybody? Okay. I'd say about 16 and a half on height. Okay. Yeah. It's a little tricky because that dress is, sticks out a little bit, but... Um, about 12. On the widest point? Yeah, yeah. What about the deepest point? Because I think it's even more with the base. No, this sticks out a lot further. 12. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so for design, not really a lot going on. So you still have to rank it, though. What would you rank the design? Oh, design's a different, different category? Have you never watched the channel? <laughs> so design is how well did it go together? Does it display well? Oh, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Four out of yep. five for the design. Yeah. Now, paint and sculpt, we're going to do something a little bit different. Lately on the channel, at least for the last six months or so, we've been doing video. So that's what we're going to do. Mrs. X is going to take it away. Okay, let's talk about paint and sculpt here. We'll start here at, down at the base. First of all, we're going to see this very decorative base with all these protruding areas here. It's painted very, very nice with a silver color. The pumpkins are on on it that looks like they may have like a looks like they maybe been in the dirt or something it's kind of weathered it maybe it also has some roses next to it in between the pumpkins and then we have some design on the mirror there is a mirrored base as i said before and then that does carry up this um scrolling uh pretty decorative onto the mirror going up with starting with her shoes she has some very high heels on um they are the bluish color that matches her dress and above that is her legs and they are very very long as you can see her paint on her um skin i would say it's a good skin color i myself would have liked a little darker skin, maybe more tanned, but you know, working girls maybe don't get outside very much. So let's go to her dress and it is got a lot of holes in it. It's a very, very cool blue color. It starts at a darker blue on the front and kind of fades down to a more transparent blue on the bottom. And as we talked about before, there is this what Mr. X called this uh, like magical like ring around here. Seated. And it does go all the way around the dress here with a little small spot where this hole is that doesn't attach, but. She is wearing what I would call some bloomers or panties that are also blue that match the top of her dress and I guess the bottom since they are all the blue, same blue color. So she does have gloves on 
and they fit very tightly on her arms. They do have, um, they are the same blue as her, her skirt, but maybe a little bit lighter depending on what way the, the light is hitting them. And the bodice of her dress does have some design on it, very, very detailed, which is painted very, very well. Holes of her dress, you can see her skin, which is also the same color as the rest of her body. And then onto her face, she has some very nice lipstick on that is very, very well done. Her teeth are very, very white. She has some very, very blue eyeshadow that does match her dress, I would say. Along with some mascara. I would say her eyebrows are a little off color, just my thoughts, but they are very, what I would call caterpillarish. They are very burly. And then up to her hair, she does have a crown on. But first, her hair is your typical blonde Cinderella hair. So her hair is kind of a blob, but there it does have a little bit of definition. Um, it's not your normal strand, as I would think I would see for a Cinderella, but it does have like more chunks that are highlighted with some, some uh, shading. And her tiara is very pretty blue. It actually kind of matches her gloves, I would say. And those are my thoughts. All right, so what would you grade the paint? I think I'd give the paint a five out of five. Wow, very impressive. Yeah. You're a little more generous than I am. Okay. At least down here. Hmm. All right, so what's your score on the sculpt for this piece? I'd give it a four. Four out of five. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I would actually give the sculpt a five out of five. I see. I agree with what you said about the hair in the in the close-ups. But so four out of five is Mrs. X's score. Now let's talk about value. Now retail price on this was three sixty-five. It was cheaper at Comic Concepts, and they made thirty-five hundred of these, Ooh. which is a, a large edition mm -hmm. size. But compared to some of the other ones in the styrofoam, yeah, it's really bothering you. I could tell. No, it's it's all right. Yeah, All right, nice. so compared to some of the other pieces in this line, that edition size is actually lower. So they made 3,500 of these. I can't imagine the Disney license is cheap, um, which I would assume they have to get the Disney license, even though I know this is kind of... A, what are you looking at now? Nothing! Gee. Paranoid, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so what? what for value... One through five, what would you give it for value? Three meaning we could probably get our money back if we sold it, which I think we can for sure. I agree. Um, what would you give it for value? I'd give it a four probably. All right, four out of five. Yep. So we could probably make a little bit of a profit, especially yep. the fact that it is sold out, I believe. Oh, okay. At least from Comic Concepts, it is where it's cheaper. So uh, does this piece have the X factor? Now, that's not a cumulative score, but it's like when you look at this, is this amazing? And I think... You know, if they come out with more of these, they haven't revealed any more. We could get like do a top 10 eventually. But since there's four of them, I think the question is, does it have the X factor? Do you like this one the best? So let's answer that question first. Of the other three pieces, w which one do you like the best? I think I like this one the best. Okay. So do you think that it has the X factor because of that? Yes. I was going to edit in some crickets there when you had to think about it. So it does have the X Factor. She gives it a 5 out of 5. It's her favorite of the line, even though Cinderella is not your favorite character. Correct. Correct. So I uh, I like, after this one, I like the Tinkerbell second I best. agree. Yep. I agree. They're pretty close in... In what? In my liking. My liking? Likeability? I guess. Whatever you want to say, you know. My hair is like flopping in the I back. See, I see that. It's see, that's what you're looking at. I, I've been doing a different hairstyle every single day yeah. to freak these people out. Oh, how do they like it? I, they always talk about it, so oh. apparently they're noticing. Yeah, they are. I don't like what it's doing today, though. Yeah, that, that back part just has a little attitude. Yeah, got it. Got some toot in the back. It does. All right, should we go to Costco? Let's go to Costco. Bye, guys. Oh, wait, wait. 
See, you thought we were leaving. <laughs> we will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. If you liked Mrs. X, if she did a good job, please give her a like. Uh, she she cries at night of all the dislikes of the videos she's in. I'm kidding. She I don't even think she watches them. I don't. But it, it makes me feel better when you give her likes. And it also makes the, vis the video more visible. So make sure to do that. Drop us a comment on the way out and subscribe if you like Mrs. X or me. Or if you don't like us, subscribe anyway. Why not? Take care.